This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Leaving Irma behind, a former news videographer from our area brings us video of people in Florida evacuating ahead of the hurricane. Happy Friday, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Cara, and this newscast is available in HD on Service Electric Cable Vision Channel 513. And take us with you to Fun Fest this weekend or wherever you go with the Samsung Productions app. Here's your headlines now from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Many of our viewers have family and friends evacuating southern Florida in the wake of Hurricane Irma. One resident who packed up his family and dog in his car and headed north is Rob Moore. Rob is originally from Hazelton, a graduate of Bishop Hafey High School. He was formerly a videographer at WYLN in Hazelton and WBRE in Wilkesbury. He's now in public relations, but the newsman in him posted this video to Facebook. Saturday into Sunday is when the storm's supposed to really hit, I believe. So, first year I'm not working it. Uh, before I had to work it when I was in the news. Now we're driving. There's the boys. Is there a lot of traffic, Brandon? Yes, Brandon, there's a... Hold on, let me flip the camera. I'm, I'm driving. It's really not that bad. Yes, it is. It this is the turnpike. So we're headed uh, north, of course. And you start moving, and then you hit... Like now, we've stopped. As you can see, Rob boarded up his house before leaving, and I've known Rob since grade school, so stay safe, my friends, and I hope Notre Dame wins for you this weekend. In other news, Faith Assembly of God Church in Hazel Township will host its fall vendor fair next Saturday to benefit the victims of Hurricane Harvey, and there are still openings for vendors. There's a lot going on on September 16th. That weekend is a very busy weekend in our area. So we still have some open spots available. They're $25 for a space. We have indoor in and outdoor available. Indoor is limited at this point, so they'd have to get to us quickly. But we're hoping for some good weather so that we can be outside as well. The event is September 16th from 10 until 4 at the church. Interested vendors can call the church or message them at Fall Vendor Fair on Facebook. And Fun Fest weekend is one day away. Enjoy great food, entertainment, activities, and of course the big parade on Sunday. Before the parade, come hang out with us in front of our SSP TV studio on Broad Street from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Come meet the crew, and we always have a few surprises at our booth, so get ready for complete. For the complete FunFest schedule, go to funfestpa.org. And Monday will mark 16 years since the worst attacks on American soil. As Lisa Sugar reports, once again, our area will pause and remember. I'm pleased to be joined by Tony Colombo. He is back to tell us about an event that is held every year in the city of Hazleton faithfully, and it is appropriately named Hazleton Remembers 9-11 taking place on Monday, September 11th in the city of Hazleton. Tony, you and I know Joe Bugda, who used to be here in town, helped to organize this event. It was very important to you then, and it still is today. Why? It's very important because it touched so many people. 9-11 uh, was the fire department's Pearl Harbor. Uh, 343 firefighters were lost that day, and uh, we must never forget, like Joe and I always said, the most important thing is never forget, remember those people that day, and continue having a service on 9-11. Now we've always had that memorial since a year later, we always had it. So it will continue again this September 11th. Uh, you have a new location. The issue we changed it a little bit. Uh, the monument still remains at Holy Rosary Church on South Poplar Street, but this year we're gonna have the mass at Annunciation Parish of St. Gabriel's on Monday, September 11th at 6 p.m. So what will be taking place? You said there's a Mass first and then the program. The priest of uh, St. Gabriel's is going to have Mass. We'll remember the people of that day in honor of them that passed and were tragically killed. Not only the firefighters, civilians, and everybody that was lost, and those that are still fighting and lost to keep our freedom. Immediately following the Mass, we're going to have a, a little program that we remember, Hazel to Remembers. Uh, we're going to start off with, we'll have the Pledge of the Flag, we'll have this National Anthem, and we'll have our police chief, Jerry Spiziel, will be the main speaker because he was in New York on 9-11. Wow, that's amazing that we'll have our local police chief uh, be able to tell us his story. Vinny, who's been here every year from the uh, New York Fire Department, who retired, 
um, he can't make it this year. This year he, uh, he called me with regrets that he's unable to be here with us. He's having some health issues and like he said, you know, he's getting older. He's like in his 70s now and um, it's tougher for him to get back and forth from New York to Hazleton and his heart's still here with us, uh, but he can't make us. And he told me this, like, do not stop having it because of him, continue having the service and he will be here in spirit kind of adopted you guys. You're like the sister yeah. station. We adopted him. We called him Uncle Vinny. Uh, the fire department adopted him and he uh, adopted us because after 9-11 we were there. We met him and uh, we became real close friends and uh, it's sad that I don't have him here with us. We're going to miss him but we're going to continue. He will definitely be here in spirit. We hope that the entire community will come out on Monday, September 11th. You said you planned it so it, Fun Fest weekend will go and everybody will have, you know, partake in Fun Fest and then you wanted to have it on the day itself, September 11th. So you're hoping to pack St. Gabriel's Church. Yeah, this year I hope, we, uh, my, my dream is to have a full church. Everybody's welcome, all fire departments, police, EMS units are welcome. You can bring apparatus, uh, those that are coming in, uh, come in class A uniform. Uh, the civilians, the public is all welcome. Um, I hope we have standing room only, Lisa. I really hope well, someday we fill the church room. All right. Well, I'm glad it's happening again. Hazleton remembers 9-11. Monday, September 11th at 6 p.m., Annunciation Parish at St. Gabriel's Church on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. We hope that we will see you there. Thanks, Lisa. And meanwhile, a remembrance ceremony will take place at 10 a.m. Monday at Luzerne County Community College's Public Safety Institute. And a Remember and Resolve 9-11 service will take place Monday at noon at First Presbyterian Church in Wilkesbury. The community is rallying around a Hazleton woman who is battling breast cancer. Marilyn Mandy Timko Ferry has been winning the fight for 10 years, but her breast cancer recently spread to the spine and requires immediate treatment. After much investigation, she's found an alternative treatment in Germany not covered by her insurance. To help with her very expensive treatment, a GoFundMe account, Help Fund Mandy's Healing, has been created. We have posted the link on our Facebook page. Coming up next, the Fun Fest forecast and adopt me from the Hazleton Animal Shelter. And in sports, our John Eric Poli has our Football Friday feature on the Tamaqua area Blue Raiders. This is SSP TV News, your place for 24 hours of your hometown news and information. This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Hi, I'm Anna Hajjaba Mariano, and uh, welcome to Modern Smile. Since kids are back to school, we feel that parents now will have more time to take care of their own oral hygiene needs. Why is it important? Because um, our gums are foundation for entire oral health. And just imagine if your house will have any fractures in its foundation, then the entire house will collapse. And I always do this comparison with my patients to make sure that they do understand that the gums are there not just to support their teeth, but also to overall health. Um, a lot of times when we do not proceed with proper oral hygiene instructions, for example, brushing twice a day and flossing, what can happen is you can develop um, gingivitis. After gingivitis, if it's not addressed, then you can develop a severe condition as periodontitis. And periodontitis has different stages. It can be mild, it can be moderate, and it can be severe. Why is it so important? Because in periodontitis, if your gums are affected, then your bone will get affected too. After that, you will start losing support around your teeth. So I will strongly recommend for you to find maybe hour, maybe hour 15 out of your day and schedule appointment at our office. What we will do during that visit, we will be able to do a full set of x-rays for you and we offer digital radiography, which is much less, produce much less radiation. We do comprehensive exam and also 
proceed with cleaning if we feel that that's the only thing that's needed. Sometimes more treatment is needed prior to cleaning or we'll, for example we'll have to check your um, levels of the bone. So then you know special instructions will be given to you plus that appointment, follow-up appointment will be scheduled. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's your weekend forecast now from the National Weather Service for Football Friday tonight. Partly cloudy, we will have a low of 46 degrees. The Hazleton Area Cougars at home. For Saturday, as Fun Fest kicks off, mostly sunny, high in the lower 60s. At night, mostly clear, low in the lower 40s. Sunday looks nice for the parade, sunny with a high of 66. At night, mostly clear, low of 46. Monday, mostly sunny, high of 70. At night, we'll have a low of 52. Tuesday, 30% chance of rain, high of 67. And at night, rain likely, low of 55. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Valley High Food Drive-In, the area's oldest ice cream and fast food restaurant. Stop by for our ice cream and yogurt, now featuring fat-free, no sugar added soft frozen yogurt with flavors like vanilla, strawberry, and strawberries and cream. We also have burgers, hot dogs, fries, and much more. For daily hours, call 570-455-5362. That's Valley High, Route 93 in West Hazleton. And like us on Facebook. Here's your midday winning lottery numbers. I hope you won. If not, here's a puppy. Hello again. Here I have with me Mikey. Mikey is an approximately three month old lab terrier mix who, as you can see, is very friendly, affectionate, and playful. Mikey, like all of our dogs who are up for adoption, is current on all of his vaccines, including his rabies and his temper shots. He has been neutered, microchipped, and tested for heartworm and Lyme disease and come up negative for both. Mikey is very active and playful due to his age, and therefore we recommend somebody who has had dogs in the past and understands what it is to take care of a puppy. Although very small now due to his age, he will grow up to be a bigger dog, so we'd ask anybody planning on taking him home to expect him to grow in size and be prepared for a bigger animal. We're not sure what Mikey's like with other dogs, so if you have one of your own and are considering adopting him, we recommend doing a meet and greet. That's it for this week's dog. Let's have a look at our cats. Here I have with me Wally. Wally is an approximately three month old kitten and a recent addition to our male colony. Like all of our cats, he's current on all vaccines, neutered, and tested negative for feline leukemia and FIV. Wally is very affectionate and playful and loves to be held as much as he does playtime. He seems to do pretty well with the other cats here in the colony, so we'd recommend him not only for first timers, but for anybody who has cats at home as well. Wally is very gentle and affectionate, and he loves to be held. We think he might do all right with houses with children in them as well. That's it for this week's pets. If anyone at home is interested in Mikey, Wally here, or any of the other animals we have up for adoption, please come on down to the Hazleton Animal Shelter here at 101 North Poplar Street. Time now for sports on SSPTV News. Do you know the definition of a Raider? Don't grab your phone. If you don't, it's okay as our John Eric Poli will define it for you while telling us about the impressive offense of the Tamaqua area Blue Raiders. A Raider is defined as someone who attacks an enemy in enemy territory. And this season, the Tamaqua Blue Raider football team is living up to their nickname as they have been attacking teams with a ground and pound smash mouth style. This season, the Blue Raiders are off to a 2-0 start, thanks to not just one, but two good running backs in junior Nick Briner and sophomore Nate Boyle. Nick and Nate are doing a great job for us, sharing carries, uh, you know, like I said they complement each other. You know, I think it's always a good thing where you get one of those guys off the field because they're both defensive guys that do a lot for us on the other side of the ball, give them a break and get some fresh legs in there. And like I mentioned before, both kids have been doing a great job for us. Briner has rushed for 320 yards and five touchdowns this season, while Boyle has added 210 yards and one score. The duo won't take all the credit for the yards they have racked up as they give credit to their offensive line that has been a force to be reckoned with this season. Offensive line, that's where it's all it starts. They, if they click, we click. It, it's all up to them. They're just hustling every play. They're not taking plays off. They're big, they're big boys and they're in the weight room all the time, so uh, they're uh, pushing everybody around. Tamaqua's offensive line is inexperienced this season. But so far, they have been getting the job done by being quicker and stronger than everyone they've played. The reason behind their speed and physicality comes from the hard work they've put in in the weight room this offseason. 
Weight room plays a big part. Being able to do everything that you need to do, win a one-on-one -on -one when you need it to be, make the lane, drive your guy an extra three feet to get a gap. Really, that's what the weight room helps with. With the offensive line paving the way for the run game, Tamakwa is averaging 307 rushing yards a game. But the dynamic duo of Briner and Boyle isn't the only dynamic duo on the Blue Raiders offense. Tamaku has more than just two good running backs this year. The team has a two-quarterback system in which both quarterbacks are playing at a high level this year. Senior Thad Zuber and sophomore Braden Knobloch share the time under center. The two quarterbacks have led Tamaku to an impressive average of 38 points a game. Well, again, you know, we have two real good athletes there, Braden and Thad. Thad's been, I think, a three-year starter for us. Braden, you know, he's a younger guy who's done a great job with the younger kids on the junior high level. You know, and last year we could see him progress as the year went on. So you know, I think it's a plus when you have two good athletes on the field. Again, both those guys play defense as well as they play some receiver for us. I think the more you can spread the ball around, I think the better off you're going to be offensively. Whether it's the offensive line creating a hole, Briner or Boyle running past the second and third level of the defense, or Zuber or Knobloch controlling the offense, Tamakwa is versatile in many ways, and they are able to give players breaks during the game to keep their legs fresh for the end of the game. And it's that versatility that has opponents' defenses afraid of the Blue Raiders' attack. For SSP TV Sports, I'm John Eric Poli. Thanks, John. And before you make your Friday night plans, always check out our Football Friday schedule. Tonight, the Hazleton Area Cougars will host defending 6A Districts 2 slash 4 sub-regional champ Williamsport. Monoy Area visits Holy Redeemer. Marion plays their third straight home game against unbeaten North Schuylkill. Tamaqua will look to stay perfect against Schuylkill Haven. And Shenandoah Valley is at home against Kutztown. Game recaps in the Standard Spaker this weekend and the high school football coal scale rankings right here on Monday. Let's check out our record-breaking SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Tina Caparel came in second at Marion's Cross Country Meet, but she set a home course record for a Philly. She finished in 18 minutes and 36 seconds. Christina DeFalco of Pine Grove was first with a time of 18 minutes and 26 seconds. That's a new overall course record. Marion did sweep the meet, though. They also swept on the boys' side, and the Colts' Brandon Stasusi broke the school's record with a finishing time of 17 minutes and 17 seconds. Lee Highton won in overtime in girls soccer against Tamaqua and girls tennis. Jim Thorpe beat Tamaqua. The Hazleton area girls stayed perfect in girls tennis with a 5-0 win over Wyoming Sam. MMI lost to Tunkanic. In boys golf, Hazleton got a victory. The Hazleton area girls beat North Pocono in golf. It's their first ever home win for the program in the first year of existence. In girls volleyball, Lauren Banyas had 25 assists but MMI lost to Dallas and Marion swept by Weatherly. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs struck first blood in their best of five playoff series with the Rail Riders and the Cubs. They scored eight runs in another win for Joe Madden's club. And now everyone give a warm welcome to the one and only Ron Marchetti. Jim Dino, Frankie Greco and Bill Crooks are ecstatic because the Cleveland Indians are playing like a speeding locomotive completely out of control. But also, Hazleton, Notre Dame, and Army all won last Saturday, so I'm having a good week, too. And that's very rare that they all win at the same time. So it was a good week for me. Hi, everybody. This is Fun Fest Week, and it's game night, and this is Short Shots. Last Friday night in Kingston, Hazleton area just defeated Wyoming Valley West 17-15. It was a huge win for the Cougars. It certainly was an exciting finish. Valley West on a fourth and forever with 15 seconds left, threw a Hail Mary that was caught in the end zone to pull within two, but an excessive celebration cost the Spartans a 15-yard penalty before an unsuccessful pass to the two-point conversion attempt. I think it was a cheap call. Damon Horton, who deflected that pass, also scored both of the Cougar touchdowns. Hazel Neri only rushed for 42 yards, but quarterback Sparky Woke threw for 269 yards, 159 of them to Horton, including a touchdown. The Cougars are 1-1 and play 2-0 at Williamsport tonight at home. Marion coach Pat Morgan won his first game for the Colts two weeks ago, but he lost his first game last Friday night in hometown to Jim Thorpe 27-0. So Marion is 1-1 and will host North Schuylkill tonight. Other, other scores of local interest, 
Crestwood is rounding area 2118 to mark with tamed Mana area 34-7. And North Schuylkill defeated Steel High 35-20. So you can see that Marion will have their hands full this evening. What else? Penn State looked great in their opener while blitzing Akron 52 nothing. They should have no problem getting by Pitt tomorrow, who barely squeaked past Youngstown State last Saturday. But strange things keep happening. Aaron Judge of the Yankees, who has struck out well over 100 times this season, became the first rookie to walk 100 times in one season. Since 1953, that's 64 years ago. Most doctors were still smoking camels back then, camel cigarettes, and a brand new gymnasium that had 3,000 seats was about to open at St. Joseph's School at 5th and Laurel Streets in Hazleton. Well, let's come back to the present. The LA Dodgers have come back down to earth. They lost their seventh straight last night. They have really cooled off, losing their 12th game of their last 14. And speaking of 14, how about those Cleveland Indians who won 14 straight games, the longest win streak of this season in the major leagues? That's before last night. But last night, did they make it 15 in a row? Yes, they did. And let's not forget about the Arizona Diamondbacks who have won 13 straight. The two biggest games tomorrow, Oklahoma at Ohio State and Georgia at Notre Dame, uh, also Clemson at Auburn. Enjoy your weekend until I see you on Monday, okay? Till then, be a good sport. And of course, stay loose. And here's tonight's talk of the town. Get ready for the fall at the Tamaqua Community Arts Center with Palant Paint Happy Fall Pumpkins. All materials and supplies will be included in a $35 fee. For more information, visit TamaquaArts.org or call 570-668-1192. And enjoy a brew at the NEPA Beer Festival on September 16th at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Wilkesbury Township. For tickets, visit NEPABeerFest.com slash tickets or stop by the box office at the arena. Also on September 16th, it's the Covered Dish Community Day at the Tom Hicken Playground on 2nd Street in Sugarloaf. Bring a covered dish to share with your neighbors from 12 to 6 p.m. Here's stories from the past and take a look at old pictures of town. Call 570-788-2790 for details. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. Dorothy R. Smith of West Hazleton. Funeral services will be held Monday at 10 a.m. at the Hazel Chapel of the Croft and Hughes Funeral Home in Hazleton. Friends may call Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. at the funeral home. Anna I. Ruiz of Hazleton. A viewing will be held Saturday from 3 to 9 p.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton. A funeral service will be held Monday at a time to be announced. And Alice V. Oberman of Dunedin, Florida. Memorial services will be held in Pennsylvania at the Musselman Funeral Home in Lemoyne starting at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Services will follow at 11. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name now on SSP TV News, you have 13 minutes to call in and win a free pay-per-view movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Tonight's winner is James Cheslock of Hazel Township. Call now, 570-455-7267, extension 104. going to be a great weekend in downtown Hazleton. Come join us at FunFest on Sunday. I'll see you then, but if you can't make it, I'll see you on Monday. Take it easy, everyone. Watch us online anytime at ssptv.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.